Now, one of the key things with this first module, I mean, this whole program is going to give you an introduction to chemical engineering and process engineering. Usually, uh, I mean, the term is very blurred nowadays, process, chemical, they generally mean the same thing. The reason we talk about it in terms of process engineering is because when we look at process engineering, we are saying there is a process that we are studying. There's a process to convert a component A into a component B. So it is all a, a process and therefore you have process engineering. Chemical engineering is a much more traditional uh, way of looking at things because there, are a, there is a chemical process that occurs when you convert. It could be a physical process. And because we are studying the process, we call it chemical engineering. <coughs> now, one of the things with chemical or process engineering is that you need a plant to develop the, to, you need a plant to actually arrive at the product. So we will look at today, we will look at things like uh, your process plants. Why, what is so important about the layout in a process plant? Why is it important to think about the piping design? And the need to understand the procedures and the workflow methods used in designing. I think these are some of our objectives. But the third point, which I think is, <coughs> is often overlooked, is that the physical quantities in units. Now, one of, I mean, I must have been, a, what do you call, a, a sadist in a previous work, because sometimes I used to really trouble my students by giving them questions in several different kinds of units. Now, the problem with this is it is very, very easy to make errors. So, one of my one of the things I normally emphasize when I speak to my students is that when you work in process engineering as a process engineer, when you're in this field, be very 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 careful about the units that you're dealing with. There are different kinds of barrels, for example, the typical blue barrel for your oil BBL is 159 liters. There are other barrels that have got different, uh, I mean, different uh, equivalences to liter. So that's one thing. I mean, the other thing is the difference between ton, T-O-N, and T-O-N-N-E, -N -E, a short ton. So, and people use these units, PSI, PSIG, kilogram per centimeter squared. So one of the challenges we have as process engineers is to be familiar with units, familiar with these dimensions, and get a good feel for where we're going with this. Okay, in terms of processing facilities, <coughs> it's listed there, there's not much I can uh, add to that. But note that the key in each one of this is that we are converting, we are doing something to a product, so we are, add, we are either adding heat or we're removing heat. We are going to move it. We either blow it through pipes, through compressor, or we move it as a liquid using pumps. In order to move it or convey it from A to B, from point A to point B, we use pipes. We might use conveyors when we've got solids. But pipes, solid with conveyor belts, <coughs> there are a variety of uh, things. Let me go get some water. My throat is a bit hot. I'm back. So, in each of these, so we've spoken about adding and removing heat. We have spoken about adding and removing, en uh, adding energy to make it move, pumping, compression, conveyor belt. So, what we are doing it. So that's all that process engineering is about. To be very honest, we add, 
heat take away heat. We move material one from one place to another. We mix materials in reactors. And that's it. So that, in a very simplified way, is what process engineering is all about. Now, this is a picture. Look, look at pictures. Pictures are fine. Essentially, this picture is put there to make you feel great, and it really are uh, how complicated it is. Look, nothing is that complicated as long as we understand the drawings, we understand the connections, and we understand what is going from where to where. But one of the things I'd also like to add is when we're talking about processes, we need to we need to be able to monitor these processes. What are these processes? What are we monitoring? Now, when you're driving on the road, what do you monitor? You monitor, is there another idiot on the road by name Shaston floating around? Or do you think, uh, is it raining? Is there a speed camera somewhere? Is there a speed limit that I need to? So you're monitoring your environment all the time. In a process, as a process engineer, one of the things we need to be concerned and aware about is the monitoring of the process. So the key parameters, remember we're talking about heat, so temperature, pressure, level in tanks. So things that come to your mind in your everyday life would most probably apply straight away to a process plant as well. It's a more, uh, let's put it this way, a picture at night that makes it look better.